I'm Christina Lopez Aducci, and welcome to At Home with House of Puff. Today, we're clearly not home. We are here at Etain with author, artist, social justice warrior, and dear friend, Chris Wilson, on his first solo exhibit in New York City. How does it feel? It feels great. I've, I've dreamed of this moment, so I'm excited to, yeah. uh, to uh, have a good time today. Let's do it. Thank you to Etain Health for helping us put together this incredible show. And before we start into the questions I already sent you, let's be real. <laughs> today is a particularly special day. Not going to cry because I'm going <laughs> to ruin my makeup, but tell us why today is so important. So today, uh, 10 years ago, on this day was the day I was released from prison. And almost to the time of, of the time today, is the exact time that I got out. And I don't know how this happened, serendipity, it's the universe, but uh, it just really uh, brings home uh, my whole life and my experience. And 10 years, 10 years I've been free and my life has changed uh, dr dramatically since that moment. <laughs> Excited. That is incredible. And I want to talk to you about, you know, we're holding this in a cannabis dispensary. Yes. And, you know, it's important to us, to House of Puff, to you, uh, that 40,000 people are still incarcerated for nonviolent cannabis charges. Right. Why, why is that so important to you? What makes this special? So it makes it special to me to do this collaboration uh, with House of Puff and e because, uh, you know, a lot of people have been dealt a bad hand in life and have been impacted by uh, the, these policies and, and are doing time because of marijuana. But like now the ties have changed and I feel like this is an opportunity to be a voice for the people who uh, have been dealt a bad hand. Uh, I hope that they can have an opportunity to uh, uh, be involved in, in the cannabis industry uh, and uh, reacclimate to society when they get out of prison. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I hope. Yeah. I think, I think we all do. Um, so let's talk about the show. Yes. First of all, curated by Mr. Gregory Thornberry, yes. who did an incredible job. The show is called I Can Show You The Way Out. Yes. Um, that's an immensely hopeful title. Uh, yeah. Tell us about the body of work. Well, I'm an optimist. And so uh, thus uh, the title, uh, The Body of Work. Uh, this is my debut into the abstract space. I think I started initially with sculptural work and then mostly uh, figurative representational mm -hmm. work. And I felt like, uh, you know, the, the topic of what we're uh, talking about of solitary confinement in the criminal justice system, this was a perfect uh, opportunity to collaborate for, with amazing people uh, to shed some light on some serious issues. The anchor of the show yes. is an incredibly powerful abstract painting called Positive Delusions. Yeah. Um, it's so moving that every time we talk about this, uh, I get I get weepy. Um, and the minute we learned about the connection uh, to the fight for social justice, we knew yeah. we had to collaborate with you and put it on rolling papers. Yes. Why did you agree to collab with us? I think, well, first, I, thought, I, I just think it's really cool. Uh, I, I'm new to the cannabis uh, consumption space or whatever, but I thought it was really cool. But I also really believe in creating art that means something and that tells a powerful story. I was inspired to create this, this painting uh, after reading a few dozen letters from people who have been uh, in solitary confinement and people who are currently in solitary confinement. I myself spent 117 days in solitary confinement and I struggled with thinking about what type of uh, painting I wanted to make after reading these letters and after a therapy session with my therapist, I decided that I didn't want to paint a morbid painting of like some person in a box. And I wanted to create a body of work uh, and tell a story by using colors. And so uh, I deliberately chose these colors based off of the positive delusions, the things that I thought about when I was in solitary confinement of hoping to one day see the blue sky, uh, you know, 
the color pink, which is symbolizes uh, the need to help and protect people. Uh, yellow, optimism, uh, the black, uh, elegance, uh, and representing my people. Uh, and then the white uh, color is violently placed on the canvas. And it just represents uh, white supremacy in America and you know, a lot of uh, correctional officers and administrators when I was in prison that were pretty cruel to me when I was in solitary confinement. Wow. So it, this represents that. If it's one thing that you want people to take away from positive delusions, what would it be? Outrage. I mean, even today, there are 80,000 to 90,000 men, women, and children who are currently subjected to solitary confinement, and it's been deemed torture, and I want people to be outraged. Yes, I think it's aesthetically a beautiful painting, but I want people to be upset and, and do something about the conditions that people uh, uh, happen to deal with here in America. That's incredible, and this is such a, an amazing piece of work, you know, which is why we put it on rolling yes. papers. <laughs> Talk to me about, you know, how does Chris get inspired? Like, what are we listening to? What yes. are we imbibing? Are we consuming <laughs> cannabis? Yeah, so so yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of house music, so my process, I usually listen to a lot of house music. Uh, regarding cannabis, I prefer uh, sativa because I like to be okay. like, like up. I don't want to fall yeah. asleep and zone <laughs> out, and that's pretty much my, you know, my process. I work at night usually, and so when people are going to work in the morning, I'm usually getting off work. And so yeah, love it. So. Favorite type to consume? Are you like edibles? Are we hitting a bong? Are we smoking joints? So like one hitters. One, so one hitters. hitters is my, my oh. preference. Like yes. like the House of Puff one hitter. Yeah, I, I had to. I had to. Yeah. That was like and the then, perfect. And papers too. Socially, I'll do papers. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I don't like to roll all the time. So speaking of which, you know, we had to make anybody sesh more elevated. Yes. They can pick up your House of Puff, Chris Wilson. Yes. Papers, right? Yes. Here at Etain, houseofpuff.com. What are we rolling in the papers? Like sativa strain, <laughs> like give, give me specific. So I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna roll uh, <laughs> some Cali Mist or <laughs> some Sour Diesel or something like that. Yeah, so, and, and all my people are coming and they're buying these papers in bulk. I love so, it. Yeah, we're one, gonna sell out. One thing I wanna talk about is you know, a portion of the of the sales goes to you to support your work yes. and your artistry. Another portion will go to Solitary Watch. Can you talk yes. to us about what Solitary Watch is? Absolutely. Uh, Solitary Watch is uh, a group of people and they work alongside other uh, anti-solitary confinement organizations, but they do amazing work of champion uh, the need to end solitary confinement and percentage of proceeds uh, from the rolling papers uh, and uh, art sales will go to support and solitary watch amazing, amazing people. So I hope people, uh, you know, check them out and the work that they're doing. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is, this is a dream. We got a hug. I'm so happy. <laughs> thank you. For, thank you. Yes. It's going to be a good night. Thank you for watching At Home with House of Puff. We'll see you next time. every pack you buy, you'll also be supporting the artists and the fight for justice for all Americans. You can find them on houseofpuff.com and right now exclusively at ET in New York. And if you're in New York and want to experience Chris's insanely moving show in person, come on by. The exhibit will be up and open to the public every Thursday from 12 to 7 or by appointment until June 10th. To make an appointment, just reach out to Chris. Slide right into his DMs on Instagram at Chris Wilson Baltimore. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We love hearing from you, and we'll see you next time on At Home with House of Puff.